everybody welcome to trans e-learning chemistry videos today we'll be discussing about Boyle's law and in that we'll be covering the practice problems related to Boyle's law this is the sixth video related to practice problems so let's start here is the first question first of all we need to uh, read the question properly a 50 ml soap bubble is blown at standard pressure here you can see in the first figure the volume of the bubble is 50 uh, milliliter and it was blown at standard pressure so at standard pressure the value will be one atmosphere when a thunderstorm passes later in the day in the second figure you can see that the thunderstorm passes pressure becomes 700 millimeter of the mercury uh, will the bubble get bigger or smaller what it is new volume uh, in the picture I have shown a bigger bubble need to find it out whether this description of the bubble that I've shown here is right or wrong for that first of all we need to analyze uh, what is given and what uh, needs to be found here uh, the given values are the pressure 1 and the volume 1 that I have taken of the bubble at the standard pressure uh, when the volume of the bubble was 50 milliliter. Uh, here you can see that the pressure 2 is given in millimeter of the mercury. So instead of taking the pressure 1 in 1 atmosphere, I will use this conversion that 1 atmosphere is equal to 760 milliliter of mercury so instead of one atmosphere I will be writing pressure 1 as mm of Hg now the units of the pressure 1 and pressure 2 are same so we need not to do any kind of conversion as the temperature is constant so the Boyle's law can be applied and we can just substitute the values in the Boyle's law equation uh, you can see here we have two questions uh, for the first question is will the bubble gets bigger or smaller let's find the answer for this and then we will uh, uh, find out the new volume uh, as per the Boyle's law the pressure and the volume are inversely relation with each other that means pressure is uh, inversely proportional to volume and vice versa so if we compare the volumes here the pressure 1 is more than the pressure 2 so as per this uh, inverse relation of Boyle's law the volume 1 should be less than the volume 2 so uh, here the volume 1 was 50 uh, milliliter so whatever will be the volume 2 it will be more uh, as compared to the volume 1 so the answer will be bigger that means the uh, when the storm passes later in the day the size of the uh, soap bubble will increase so that means this picture that I have uh, mentioned here of a bubble with increased size is correct the second question now is to find what will be the new volume of the bubble at this pressure when the storm arises now I will just substitute the value in the Boyle's law equation that is pressure 1 is 760 mm of Hg into volume 1 is 50 ml uh, equal to pressure 2 is 700 mm of Hg into volume 2 so the volume 2 will be 760 mm of Hg into 50 ml divided by 700 mm of Hg the units of the pressure will get nullified and the volume 2 will be 760 into uh, 50 ml divided by 700 on multiplying 760 with 50 you will get 38000 uh, milliliter divided by 700 and on division will get the answer as 54.28 milliliter as you can see here that the volume 1 is up to one decimal place so we can round off this to one decimal place so the volume 2 will be 54.3 milliliter that's the final volume 
Now if you can see here when the pressure was more, the volume was less. When, when the pressure got decreased, the volume was increased. So the pressure is inversely proportional to volume, which is Boyle's law. Part 1 ends here. For other questions, you can watch the second part of this video.